All right, so hey guys, pretty much today what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to uh, set up a USB button box for uh, your Ultrix Summer if you have one. Uh, so what you want to do is, you need, first off you need to change a sign, well, you have to, if you're going to be using a key switch like, like the one I have here, or a little switch here for, for ignition, you're going to have to go and change one sign, which is in gameplay. Now, let me just see if figure out now which one it is. Um, it is... Not that far down anyway. It's one of the it's one of the engine ones anyway. So um, I clicked on the wrong one. I'm pretty sure it's the, it's the that's one. So let me just find it. I can never find I can never find it. All right. So it's one of these ones. So. What you want to make, make sure you have is um, just copy all of these. I'm pretty sure it's uh, the engine brake one. Oh no, sorry, it's this one here that I'm just have to pick in. So just make sure you have uh, automatic engine and electricity start uh, unchecked. Then once you've done that, what you want to do is you need to go to controls and then on your controls up here, for you normally it would be just keyboard only, but if it's if, uh, one, if it is keyboard only, you want to look for keyboard plus, uh, for me it's Arduino Leonardo, but it could be something different for you, but it should just be that there. So click on that once you've done that. Um, uh, I forgot to also mention too, that you, you shouldn't really need any uh, extra drivers because it usually just automatically does it. So once you've done that, it's just a matter then of just mapping everything here. So. The way I I want to start off with the whole ignition system first, just because um, that kind of done a bit weird. So I actually have both of these set to the same thing more or less. So as I can have this as the engine cutoff and the it's just the ignition, and that's also it's kind of like how you would have the accessories position on a key as well. So to map that to that, we want to go and look for the um, engine start option here. Which should be underneath the what's it called? What's extra? This is the truck controls. So let's see if we can find that. And I'm going to start stop. So this is the only thing that you're going to use both your primary and your secondary mappings. So I usually have the the primary mapping set for the switch, which uh, I use mainly for turning off the engine and kind of like I said, the first position of the key. So then once you've uh, clicked on the button, it, should, it usually would say joy button and then it would say zero uh, i just realized that you won't really be able to see too much of this but i'll try and make it so as you can just so you can see what i'm doing and then you also want to map the key to the one beside it so uh let me just scroll up a bit so you can see so you want to be able to you want to click on this one and then just to turn your key and that's then map that and then for this one here i would set I, it's actually set as activate which can be used for entering like uh, truck dealers and stuff but it's also used as well for um, when you're filling up your fuel and stuff so that's what I have that set to so to do that just go down where it says active which is in the other uh, section and just click on your secondary bit one mapping and then just press the button and then like go and it should map straight away like the rest of them therefore for these ones here I have this one set to reset my karma which it's not actually called that it's um see now which one is it it's uh it's actually the interior camera so just click on that and then like i said it, like before just press the button now it, it's it's pretty much the same for all of them but i will just continue on mapping main anyway just in case you want to like copy some of my stuff and you don't know what the mappings are actually called so for this one here i have the one that like toggles the gps which on your keyboard is i think it's f2 or f3 so pretty much just look for whatever one's here that says F2 or F3. So uh, let me see there. It's this one here. It's this one here that says. Uh, let me see there if I can make sure so you can actually see the secondary mapping for it. So this one here, isn't it? Yeah. So just click on the secondary mapping for that, and then hit that. And then if you if you map most of the secondary one, you can use like the F3 still, and that's good, or whatever button it's meant to be uh, st uh, standard. So next for me to map is beacons. Now, like I said, 
this is completely up to you how you map it so let me just click back into that uh, beacon so that's that and then hit which one was it this one yeah and then next we're looking for hazards now i also are the hazard lighting system i also have all like little like uh labels and stuff you can also add on as well yourself that's completely up to yourself so now i need to find the hazard warning which is this one so over to the secondary mapping again and then press the button that I want to add to that and then like this I just have these set up because I think it's easier to have the beacons and then hazards there and then the ones that the camera reset and the GPS toggle there now these one, the ones on the side like completely up to yourself how you do it now I have this one here set to look left and then here so let's find that real quick and map it It'll be under the one that says camera control, so just look for that. And then look for interior, look left, and then go to secondary mappings again. And then press the button to map it, and then go about, right above it then is the one for the interior, look right. So just hit the button for that. Now for this one here, I have it set, well I would say right now, but I would normally have this set for, this is the one that kind of looks back at your trailer, so you want to look for the, it's called the lean out camera, which is, this one here so, so just map that to that because like I said you can map this to whatever you want uh, for this one below and well the first one in the second row of the name I have this set one set to light mode so that's uh, I think that's another truck one yeah it is uh, so just click on the second map for that and then press your button to map it and then I also have cruise control uh, set for the one beside that which would normally be your C button on your keyboard so just map like I said this is also be how whatever you want to map it uh, right beside that I would say it's the trailer detached but I would just written down on my little label as the trailer legs just because it wouldn't fit on it so for that you need to look for um, let me see it's actually the bottom section so you want to look this one here trailer attached slash detach and then click on the second mapping area and then press your button. Uh, here I have it set for the high beams or the high lighting beams, whatever you want to call it. So scroll up to the top section and it should be there. It's a uh, there we go, high beam headlights, that's what they're called. Just click on that and then map that again. Uh, next up, I'm going to do wiper modes. So Waiver mode is somewhere here too. It's just called waivers now. It's called waiver modes, but I just it's what you you pretty much use it to toggle through all the different waiver modes. So that's why I call it that. And then for the last button, I'm just going to map it to the horn. Now this is just a no hand horn. This isn't like the like air horn or anything. So I'm going to press that. And after that, there you don't have to like see brand. You just press X, and then everything should work. So let me just go into drive so I can actually show you that everything works it should work now hopefully if we've done it right uh, I can also show you cruise control or the fuel filler thing because I have no near I got a petrol station so like we said the switch will put us into the first position now you can use it to go into the second position and completely start your engine but I only use it to turn out I only use it for the first position and then I would use the key then to actually start it and then the the switch again then to turn everyone off now for the rest of it, I need to have everyone turned on. So uh, this would usually, like I said, be our fuel flare, which isn't going to work right now. And then let me just go through some of these so I can show you the camera reset one. So like we said, this one here looks left and then here. This one looks right and then here. And then this one is the look back. It kind of looks at your trailer when you're reversing stuff. Now, you can't press these buttons to like reset anything. So that's then that's why I have this set to reset my camera. So then here we have the GPS toggle button, which also just gets rid of your GPS or brings it back or whatever you know, or whatever. And then uh, above that, like we said, we have the beacons, which are I have, I have that mapped wrong. I haven't mapped the other way around. I think uh, I've just mapped it wrong. This sh this should be the the beacons, but I have it mapped wrong. So we need to fix that real quickly. So let me just find that. So we'll be changing beacons and hazards. So 
so that's that and then we need as a warning which is this let's back out of that and then just check to make sure they work yeah there we go there's the beacon it's going and then there's the hazard going obviously you can't really see it but you can see the dashboard flashing so we've already went through all the cameras now we also have like our light modes so that'll toggle through all that and then while that's on i'll show you the high beams as well and then just press light modes again then to toggle it off again we also have cruise control which we can't use because we're not moving then this is the button to attach and reattach your trailer just press that again just so the trailer's back on and then wiper modes again which when you press it the first time it just goes on to uh, the snow mode and then you press it again it would go a bit faster and then you press it the third time it turns it off and then for this one here I just it's just the horn it's pretty simple um, I plan to actually eventually map this into a button that's going to be on an actual aftermarket wheel on uh, Logic G920 when I get it for Christmas so I don't know how I'm going to do that but I'm going to try anyway uh, yeah I think that's pretty much it like I said, you know, it's completely up to yourself how you map all your buttons. Like, like I said, I may also move this one as well. I may actually completely remove it all together. But yeah, that's completely up to yourself how you map it. So hopefully this helped you. If there's any questions you have, uh, let me know. I'll also try and leave a link to the eBay store that I bought this off of. Now it is a UK based one, so for anyone that's kind of outside the UK, you may not want to buy it because of import charge and all that kind of stuff. But I'm pretty sure if you look through eBay on the US site, you'll probably find one easy enough. You can also make one. Uh, there's loads of like YouTube videos out there to how, and how to make them as well. So, you know, just have a look at them. So, uh, yeah, leave, leave a like. Don't forget to uh, comment. Don't forget to subscribe, all that good stuff. I hope you see you for the next video. Bye.